And this morning in today's health, Jane Fonda. She conquered Hollywood as both an Oscar and Emmy winner. And in 1982, she revolutionized the fitness industry with Jane Fonda's workout, which, by the way, remains the top grossing home video of all time. Now, at 73 years old, Jane's out with two new fitness DVDs for baby boomers, Jane Fonda Primetime Trim, Tone, and Flex, and Jane Fonda Primetime Firm and Burn. Jane, welcome back. It's good to have you Good here. to see you, Matt. Thanks. It's been since 1995 that you were released a right. fitness video. Why'd right. you put the leg warmers back on? Actually, you didn't put the leg warmers back on. But why again? Um, I spent four years writing a book, researching a book called Primetime, about uh, the latter part of life. And when it came to researching the role of exercise and, and aging, I, I, it just blew me away. I mean, it's important to exercise when you're younger, but it, it's like the number one ingredient for successful aging. It makes a difference for all aspects of your life and but your body. A lot of people are frustrated, though, and I, and I wonder if this has occurred to you. I mean, what, what are your limitations today? I used to watch you on those videos, and you could do just about anything. I can't do them anymore. Well, no, uh, yeah. I have a hip replacement, a knee replacement. I've had all, all kinds of things. And and, you know, I just realized nobody's doing videos for people like me who can't do what they used to do or maybe people who've never exercised in their lives. It's never too late. Do you think it's possible that you've had these orthopedic problems with the back and the no. hip and the knees because you worked out no, so much? No, it's genetic. My father had it. My brother has it. No. So it's, it's nothing no, to I, do no. with wear and tear. Uh, N not really. I think I would've, it would have happened anyway. You have not always had, although you've become known for these fitness videos, you have not always had a positive body image. Uh, you, you've talked about dealing with things like anorexia and bulimia. What allowed you to change the way you viewed your own body? And in some ways, is that always a part of you? No, you can really get over uh, food, food addictions. You can, 100%. And I think it was just a matter of deciding that I was either going to live or die. And I went for the light. I went for living. And um, right after that is when I started my workout business. And, you know, it's, it's, it gives you a sense of power and of control. You know, I realized when I started the business that it was much it wasn't just about being thin or something. It had to do with your brain, your attitude about yourself, the, the sense that you had some control over your life. And, you know, now I've, I've made these new videos under a new brand, as you said, the primetime videos. And the new one, that, the two that I just uh, are, are, are now coming out, they're more like the ones I used to do in the sense that we're in a studio. I have other people working out with me. Only this time we have a live band on, on the stage. It's really fun. You said a second ago it's about what's inside, not as much as what's outside. I, I I remember a while ago, years ago, you used to say no plastic surgery, not going to do it, right? And now you've admitted that you, in fact, have had plastic surgery, I think, mm -hmm. on your neck and your chin and your eyes, eyes. Under the eyes. Why change your I mind? I was walking down the street one day and I caught a glimpse of myself in a window and I, I was like, who's that? And I thought, oh my God, it's me. I feel so great and so rested and I look so different. And I just decided... Um, and I'm not proud of it. I decided I wanted to look more like how I feel. And by myself, were you a feeling time as pressure to maintain a certain image? Um, no, I just decided that I wanted to buy myself some some time and look more like how I how I feel. But the new workouts are they're more functional. You know, it's less about trying to look a certain way as being able to get up and down out of a chair, carry your grandkids look over your shoulder when you're backing down a driveway you know everyday life things you want to stay as independent as you can and you know you can you can maintain muscle mass make strong bones make a healthy heart and the brain people don't realize when you get older your brain shrinks and by staying physically active you can minimize the brain shrinkage and postpone alzheimer's and things like that reading about you uh... last night and one of the things that struck me for all the success you've had and the awards and the recognition you, you say that you have always had low self-esteem. Well, not and always. Want, well, but, but why did you for a while? What, what caused that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you know, it all has to do with how you're raised, right? The way your parents were with you, that not necessarily they're bad people. But it took me a while to, to sort of move back into myself and become an embodied person. And it really didn't happen until I started to get older, until I passed 60. So, the, you know, the message of my life is it's never too late. It's a hopeful message. I'm, I'm happier now than I was before. It's not exactly what I expected at 73. You mentioned to me a second ago that you were going to take your boyfriend to an event last night. You didn't, but you are very much in a relationship. Uh, three times married? Three, three times yeah. married. What did, you learn, what did you learn about love through those marriages? Well, I learned that... Um, 
that for some people, me included, it's hard to find somebody that is able to not be afraid to really show up, not be afraid to be really intimate. That has nothing to do with sex. It means being, being able to be fully present in a relationship. And sometimes you need a little mileage under the belt to get there. And I, I feel I've gotten there. And, um, and I feel really good. And I'm very proud of these, of these videos. Well, you look well they're good. not videos anymore. They're DVDs. DVDs. We yeah. have to get with the program, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jane Fonda, it's always good to have you it's here. Good to see you, Matt. Thanks, Thanks. for being here. Appreciate it.